Page 37, My Hearts in the Highlands. They're introducing the hold, or the fermata. It's a little curved line with a dot. You'll see it in this piece, it's at the bottom of the second measure. The B has that little thing over it, it means you hold the B. Now, how long do you hold it? I don't know. You just hold it, you feel it. When I'm playing with a metronome, and I, the, I gotta stay with a metronome, I just double the value of whatever the note is. So in this case, it's a quarter note, gets one count, so now I'm gonna hold it because of the hold, I'm gonna hold it for two counts and then go on. Let's talk about a few things in this piece, because we're getting more difficult stuff here. We need to talk about some of this. I'm going to start out with the left hand. Talk about that first. You're starting out with a simple C major chord. Not a problem. Then the next measure, the F and A. Then you got to move the hand up. Use the same two fingers on the G and the B. And then you can play the next measure with the Work those out. Practice that if you have to. You come back down and do it again. Go up and then down. Not bad for the right for the left hand, but the right hand is a doozy. Let's look at the right hand. Starting out slowly, we have in that first full measure. Third fingers on the C. You're going to play the E then with the thumb, and immediately go to the D. Right? I'm going to cross over. Then you got to go with the B. So you're going to have to stretch out if you have to. The last measure of the second line, you're crossing over the thumb to get to the C, the middle C. Now the fun starts. You can play the E with the fourth finger. And then when you start the third line in the right hand, watch out. You're playing the thumb on the D, and the F sharp, right, got it? Now in the third measure, you're crossing over the thumb again to play the D. Now you're going to use the fourth finger on the F sharp, and you're going to cross under the thumb under to get to the A. That may be a little awkward at first, but it's a very common move and you need to get accustomed to it, so do it. So in that third measure of the third line, in the right hand, you may have to work that out slowly, but connect them. Don't do this with the rest. Don't do that trying to get it over there. Reach it. You can do this if you need to, but don't do this. Don't. No. This works, or even this. Yeah, so be careful on it. Work those out. You have crossing under, and what you do with one hand, you want to be able to do with the other. It wouldn't hurt you to practice that same motion. in the other hand. just In the last line, again, you're going to cross over between the first and second measure of the last line. Right hand to here, and then hold it. So let's try this out. Now, you, I'm, I'm assuming you worked it out. You got the notes. You played it one hand at a time. You put the hands together. You added the pedal. You think you can sort of play it. Now you're ready to try it with me. All right, we're going to go slowly. Listen for the notes. You want to play the same notes I play, you want to play them at the same time I'm playing it. Hopefully you'll also do the pedaling the same. So it's a 3-4 time with a pickup note, pickup beat, there's two notes. I'm going to give you two counts and we'll come in together. Right hand starts here, left hand is here, foot's on the pedal. Here we go. Ready and go, Anne. 